20 years ago, China's car industry was in an awkward position. On one hand, China was emerging as a powerhouse and manufacturing cars with traditional gas engines. But on the other hand, there were no domestic auto companies that could one day rival popular foreign brands like Volkswagen and Mercedes. Many experts believe China was too far behind and was destined to always be a secondary player in the auto industry. But fast forward to today and China now controls the entire supply chain of electricity vehicles. What's even more important is that China has several domestic EV companies that are primed to lead the future of the industry. Tech analyst and EV expert Marcel Munge explain it best. There is no match for the Chinese EV. It offers the best affordability, the best user experience, and supreme quality. There is simply no transition to sustainable mobility without China. In today's video, I'm going to break down exactly how China went from zero to hero in its quest for EV domination. The story of what kind of accomplished the past two decades is remarkable, everyone. China's journey to becoming the most important player in the EV industry started in the early 2000s when China realized it would never overtake the US, German, and Japan legacy automakers on internal combustion engine innovation. So China decided to pivot to the most extreme option left. What if China could produce the best cars in the world that were 100% powered by batteries at the time? The risk was extremely high, but China had extra motivation. First, the EV vehicle provided China a chance to truly become a dominant player in the overly saturated auto industry. Second, by investing in EVs, China could solve some of the country's other problems, reducing severe air pollution and reducing its reliance on imported oil or two other potential benefits for Beijing. So China got to work and went all in on its quest to become the world leader in EV technology. In 2007, Wan Gun, an auto engineer who worked for Audi in Germany for over 10 years, became China's Ministry of Science. And technology in his ascension marked the official move of the Chinese government to go all in on electric vehicles. One was enamored by electric vehicles and even tested Tesla's first EV model, the Roadster. In 2008. Since then, EV development has become the cornerstone of China's national economic planning. Fast forward to today and China has fulfilled the goal that laid out some 23 years ago. China now controls the entire supply chain and remains the most important country in the production of every EV vehicle on the planet today. Andy Sierra, a famous economist from Shanghai who was educated at MIT and the former chief economist for Morgan Stanley and Asia Pacific recently stated, China's lead in electric cars is unable to be attacked, questioned, or defeated. With cheaper supply chains, better tech and cheaper cost, the global end simply can't compete with China. But Westerners shouldn't worry about China's demanding lead in the EV industry. In fact, it's because of China that EV vehicles are becoming more affordable for everyone. Soon EVs will become cheaper than cars with an internal combustion engine. And for new car buyers, the climate-friendly choice is also becoming an economical one. In my previous video, I outlined how China has a dominant eight in the one crucial area that will define the 21st century electric batteries. Right now, the entire EV industry relies on technology from China to power their EV vehicles. Realistically, the United States won't be able to produce a comparable EV battery until at least 20 to 30, but China is already stretching out its lead and explore technologies to further enhance battery performance. Chinese EV maker Jack recently unveiled the world's first car powered by a sodium ion battery. The battery could reduce the cost of EVs by over 10%, with China developing new technologies for the world. This should be welcomed by everybody, right? Surely Western countries can put aside their political differences with China and realize the great contributions China has made to the EV industry these past two decades. Unfortunately, it's not likely. And once again politics will get in the way of what should be a win-win for the entire world. Shanghai economist Andy Scheer predicts what is inevitably going to happen the global N is likely to erect barriers in the name of national security. While the global S will welcome Chinese levies to ease its dependence on imported oil, lower transportation costs and boost productivity, 
Without a technological edge, EV makers in the global end will have a hard time overcoming China's cost advantage. While Western governments play checkers and try to compete with China in the EV space, China's government has been playing chess. That's a bold statement and you might be thinking to yourself. Wait a minute. If China controls the EV industry, then what about Tesla? With a market cap exceeding $550 billion, Tesla is the absolute king of the EV market. But many people don't realize the development of the Chinese EV industry has been deeply intertwined with Tesla's rise as the biggest EV company. And here is where China's genius strategy comes out in full force. When the Chinese government handed out subsidies to build up the EV market in China, it didn't limit them to domestic companies instead. The Chinese government had the vision of creating the entire ecosystem in China. If China gave foreign companies the same subsidies local Chinese companies receive, foreign companies like Tesla will become a valuable part of the Chinese ecosystem and as a result, there will be no chance for the company to ever leave it. Elon Musk leverages this to his advantage and the reason Tesla is the company it is today is because of China. Tesla and the Chinese government came together in 2019 to build the Tesla Gigafactory in less than 12 months, which represents a supreme competitive advantage over most developed countries.